the Toast of Brooklyn, a one-of-a-kind wine, food, and spirits festival celebrating Brooklyn's really unique amazing. cultural it's diversity. Really, really good. Farewell to China reception at the Urban Gallery in Williamsburg, Brooklyn, for Miss Royal Guyana. Coconut curry lobster and bami with celebrity chef Patrick Simpson on Coconut this week's curry lobster in Adi Kitchen. With bami. What they know about that? Celebrating Brooklyn icons from the fashion and music industries at the first annual Muse Awards. You're watching Come Chat With Me, a Caribbean lifestyle magazine. And I'm your host, Ziggy Bless. <music> Toast of Brooklyn is an annual food and wine festival featuring a combination of global wines and spirits producers, along with small boutique wineries and craft spirits, exotic cuisine from rural tourism, art spots, renowned chefs from the Food Network and smaller restaurants and caterers enrich the appetites of the sophisticated I love attendees. Wines from all over the world. Uh, there's like 10,000 like 10, varietals throughout the world and, and hopefully everybody will be able to taste more than Merlot and Cabernet and others. I'm here with some jerk chicken sliders, with some sweet potato bread pudding, with coconut rum sauce. And I'm a full service caterer located in Valley Stream, New York. And we are an off-site caterer, which means that we come to you with everything. I'm meeting nice people and drinking delicious alcohol and trying delicious Caribbean snacks. <laughs> We're uh, set up here for Toast of Brooklyn. We wanted to sort of have a little celebration making some nice Spanish gin and tonics with Fords and Q Tonic. And we have this beautiful display of awesome fresh seasonal garnishes, some things I got at the farmer's market here in Brooklyn, some other citrus and raspberries, and then some dry botanicals so that you can sort of personalize your own cocktail and make a gin and tonic a little bit more exciting than the traditional uh, gin and tonic that most people get. Today we're making Aperol Spritz. So it started off as the official drink of the summer and now it's like the drink of all seasons. So basically Aperol is an Italian orange liqueur. It has lots of citrusy flavors. You're gonna get some bitters. So we do half Aperol, half Prosecco, and a splash of club soda. A lot of people come by and they're like, oh my God, I had this in Italy. I went to Venice, I went to Capri. Cause this is like a big culture there. Like you go there, it's like Aperol Spritz, everything. My style is like taking what my grandma taught me, the fundamentals, the traditional flavors, and being I'm a trained chef, well, internationally, and that's why I forget my roots, but I merge the two together, so that's why it's called New Age Caribbean, with a contemporary approach to Caribbean cuisine. Like today, I'm doing oxtails, but I'm doing oxtails off the bone with an eggplant chutney on a pita bread. It's a diverse crowd. Cuisine is, uh, there's, no, there's no boundaries of culinary cuisine, so, so why not just not stick to one route? You had to explore. Today I am at the Toast of Brooklyn today and I'm telling you, I have a jerk chicken taco and I have a curry sacatash with an escovitch fish sits right on top. It's more like a pass hors d'oeuvres, um, tapas style meal, but this is something simple that they will definitely enjoy. It tastes really amazing. Like this is really, really good. A nice, nice curry on it, a nice fry. Really delicious, I love it. And it's unique. It's succotash, and you don't really see that too much in Jamaican cuisine. So I love that he was able to do that. We have been here talking about how easy it is to get to Jamaica and how many attractions we have, things to do, an attraction for each day. And uh, we have budget. A budget, there is always a hotel that will suit any budget, any pocket, for any client and there is a mix of clients coming in that we're seeing today. I am currently the owner of Nostrand Wines and Spirits and Nostrand Avenue in Brooklyn. I'm also into real estate and stuff. But I'm originally from Guyana, but um, apart from that, I'm just your ordinary Joe. It's an event for our community, even though the, the, the event has become a heck of a lot more diverse now. You're seeing everybody at the event. It is an event originally designed to for our community, but we've kind of shifted it now where it's an event to bring everybody together. Our community, everybody else, because Brooklyn is a dynamic place. You know, Brooklyn has become an incredibly diverse place. So it brings everybody, black, white, purple, pink, old, young. That's what we shoot for, and that's where we are right now. 
And I'm, again, I'm comfortable with that. I don't necessarily have a specific direction with my art. I just draw natural things and paint natural art, whether it be the natural body or nature itself. My inspirations come from just pop culture and color and walking around and seeing nature and appreciating the things around me. I'm not an event producer, I'm an entrepreneur, I'm a retailer, I'm, you know, so I do this event for the community. So I don't do this event necessarily to go out there, you know, to, to make money. It's done for the community, the proceed goes to not-for-profit. The proceeds for this year's event is going to the Caribbean Tourism Organization Foundation. So in that regard, for me, the event, I am comfortable to the level of where the event is, but I've gotten so many different offers to really expand significantly. We'll see where that goes. Miss Royal Guyana heads to China. The 19-year-old Ambika Ramraj will represent Guyana at the December 8th pageant in Sanya, China. world Guyana because not only do I possess the attributes to excel on the international stage such as athleticism in sports and fitness, skill in talent, and elegance and grace in top model, but I am compassionate, I have a big heart and a grand voice. A voice that I will use to speak for those who do not have one, for those who have so much to say but are so afraid to say it. I have a voice that will empower men women and children, anyone who has ever felt lost like I had felt, anyone who needed someone there with them like I did. I will be the voice for our people. I will be the voice to make a change in our world. I want to just focus a little bit on introducing this amazing young woman who I've had the, um, who I, whom I was very fortunate to meet and work with closely for the past couple of months. Um, I actually flew down to Guyana and was working there part-time as we conclude the most important element of the Miss World competition which is a Beauty with a Purpose project dealing, uh, dealing with childhood trauma and um, has opened my eyes to, to some amazing things. I want to step out on the international scale with my beauty with a purpose. I really want to advocate for the importance of bettering your mental health. I personally advocate for doing so through sports and physical activity, but I believe a lot of work in the arts, whether it's dance or music or playing in, or an instrument or even art itself, sketching, all of those are great outlets for you to exert a lot of the pressures that you would have had built up. So I think all of those things are great outlets for you to really develop your mental health. My job is to ensure that Guyana gets the next Miss World. That's simple. Mm, easy as that. Easy as that. Yeah. Yes. I really think Mama think it was much harder. No, easy. <laughs> That's all we need, you know. Ensure that we have the next Miss World. Okay, so how you do that? Can I go in a little detail to me? You have the eyes. Wait, tell me a little bit about we, we, we got everything under control. We, 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 we go to a group of amazing young women. Right. We pick out the best, the, tal the most talented, the most one with the most confidence. Um, we're looking at beauty inside and out. We're looking at um, someone who can manage their time very well and um, someone who is really good at sports. 
So when you look at the woman, you look at a rounded, de-rounded woman. And um, that is basically what we do. She is an amazing person and will do the entire Caribbean region extremely well and we should all be proud of her. I have to say that you are one of the best candidates we've had in recent years. Thank you. So Thank you very much. A lot of confidence in you bringing Thank you. the crown home. I am responsible for a portion of the wardrobe that she's going to China with. So maybe about 15 pieces will be my designs that she'll be wearing. <laughs> I want to thank you guys for coming out here to listen to me ramble on about my beauty with a purpose and be a part of this experience with me. You're all vital in the role that I will play in future and in my performance in future. I need your support to do well. Remember, I'm not representing just myself. I'm representing each and every one of you who are supporting Guyana for the Miss World contest. Miss World is actually December 8th, but the, the young, our representative will be away at the, in China, Sanya China, for mm. one month. And they will put her through all the tests and all the challenges and ring her out and put her. Okay. It will be an amazing experience and an amazing journey for this, any remarkable young woman. And <laughs> at the end of all of that, one will be selected. All right, guys, this week I have something in store for you. Now, which part are you there? In at the kitchen. The boy, Chef Patrick. This week I'm doing a coconut curry lobster. And this is going to be off the chain because you know what I'm going to put inside of it too? I'm also going to put some bami. That's what I'm talking about. We always do the fish, steamed fish with the bami. I'm going to do it with the lobster. Coconut curry lobster. And listen, follow me. You want to see what I'm going to do because I'm also going to use my favorite brand too. Walker's or the curry paste, it is off the chain. This you want to make sure that you get. All right, guys, so follow me and let's cook together. In, in the kitchen. All right, guys, as you can see right here, I have some nice, clean lobster. This lobster is already, look at the claws. You can just imagine the size of this lobster. You see how big the claws is? Looking real good, looking real pretty. We have our fresh garlic, we have our tomato, we have our scallion, we have our onion, we have our black pepper, Old Bay, salt, and pepper. And we have our Walker's Wood curry paste right here. A little bit of garlic powder and a little bit of pepper flakes. We have our coconut milk and we have our Walker's Wood curry paste. I'm gonna take the lobster, put it on the cutting board. Um, the lobster is already pre-cooked a little bit because the reason why I pre-cook it a little bit because I want I don't want to cook it too long because I'm trying to cook the lobster. So I pre-cook it a little bit so that way I can more focus in on building the sauce. Nice chunky meats. And I'm going to marinate them a little bit and then I'm going to saute them down a little bit. A little bit of olive oil over it so it can help me with the lubrication. It can make it real nice. I'm going to go with a little bit of salt and pepper. Not too much. A little bit of pepper flakes, a little bit of obey seasoning, crush garlic, and I'm gonna crush the garlic out a little bit. Crush them out a little bit more. Curry paste, because I want it to have a nice, intense curry flavor. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit of scallion, and then I'm gonna massage this in a little bit. You can put this to marinate and leave this to marinate inside your refrigerator. Because of the fact that lobster is already pre-cooked, that makes it good. You can actually turn this into a salad. You can turn this into uh, like a bruschetta. You can dice this up real small and you can put it on the top of a bruschetta. I'm gonna saute this bad boy up a little bit. Green bell pepper. A little bit more curry. Beautiful. And then I'm gonna go in now put my lobster. Nice. I'm always gonna twist stuff up a little bit. I'm gonna go with a little bit of spinach. 
Because like I said, you always do steam fish and you do it with a bami. I'm gonna do it with a lobster. Coconut curry, lobster, with bami inside of it. No, 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 no about that. Nice, beautiful. You can use any one of your favorite brand of coconut milk and you're still good to go. Nice. Beautiful. See how pretty that looks. Just let them stay there. Bubble. Nice. Let them reduce down, become nice and thick. And you're good to go. And we're gonna go right over into plating and presentation. You can serve this with any veg of your choice. Looking real good. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. They don't know nothing about that. Look at the bammy. Just look at the bammy sitting right there. Nice junky. Look at the bammy. Look at that. Look how chunky that looks. Nice chunky piece of lobster. And the bammy. The nice sauce running over. Beautiful. What they know about that. All right, guys, we did this together. And as you can see, this looks real good, flavorful, tasty. And you're gonna so much enjoy making this dish and I want you to make it and enjoy it. And as you can see, I got some bami inside of it. Coconut curry lobster with bami. What they know about that? Because people are always doing the steamed fish with bami. So now we're doing it with lobster, coconut curry. Enjoy this, grab yourself a glass of lemonade. As a matter of fact, a Chardonnay, nice red wine, white wine, cold red striped beer. Go well with that. Wait it in at the kitchen, and so would we every week. Catch you next week. The BK Style Foundation debuts its first annual Muse Awards, celebrating artists, creatives, and influencers that have continued to shape our community as well as to inspire those less served. The first annual Muse Awards ceremony celebrates Brooklyn's diversity and culture, especially for those who have inspired our community. Hi, my name's Claire Perez. Um, we're here tonight honoring different people from Brooklyn. Uh, the reason we're honoring them is for lots of different reasons. They're really, really iconic to Brooklyn. They've done a lot for the Brooklyn community. Um, we've got some great honorees coming tonight. We've got over 10 different honorees, all from different industries. We've got people from the art industry. We've got people from the music industry. We've got people from all over Brooklyn. So they've really all made a massive impact. My name is Ira Levy and I am really happy to be here as one of the first inductees to the Muse Awards. I'm receiving an award for production design and events. I'm one of the honorees tonight for the Muse Awards um, and it's an honor to be from Brooklyn and in Brooklyn and being honored and recognized for what we contribute to Brooklyn lifestyle, Brooklyn swag and just Brooklyn history and we're here at Bar Hall so um, we're being honored for uh, design and also moving the community forward so it's, it's, it's an absolute honor. The collection is called uh, Criminal Minded, You've Been Blinded and it's about mass incarceration in our communities and having brothers and sisters and people that we know and youths in the system and becoming part of the system for an entire lifetime lifetime because they're automatically labeled felons. Uh, my number one piece was a white dress with the words love yourself on it. I just wanted to give out a positive vibe to people that no matter how you are, how you look, what you do, just love yourself, self-love and stuff like that. So. Hi, I'm Angela Buccini Butch from The Muse Brooklyn and my comrade here. I'm Eric Walton, also from The Muse Brooklyn. 
Yeah, so I saw you guys was doing, is that some acrobatic movements? What do you call it? Yes, we are circus specialists, so we do magic and acrobatics and aerial work and all sorts of uh, magic feats. Hi, my name is Sabrina Dore and today we are a part of the Muse Award. I, today I will be working for Mushu, that is the designer. Mushu uh, is a designer that is always is the example of lifting while you climb. He is a mentor, he gives advice, people come to him and he um, helps out whenever he can and he cares about his community. I'm so grateful to be a part of the Mushu family and to be a stylist for Mushu for many years. Miriam Abdul Kawi and I am a model for Moshud. Moshud is located on 698 Fulton Street right here in Fort Greene, Brooklyn, represented for 24 years. Um, Moshud's clothing are very um, loose and comfortable and we don't uh, discriminate against anybody. So if you want to, you know, wear yourself, wear Moshud, wear yourself. Moshud represents African spirit, African pride, African people. We love who we are, we celebrate who we are, so come to Mashoud so we can celebrate with you. Wear Mashoud, wear yourself. Stay connected with Come Chat With Me. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram. Thanks for watching Come Chat With Me. Tune in each and every Sunday right here on CIN. See you next week.